Hello, and welcome to a three video discussion outlining the demand side of the market for loanable funds. My name is James Tierney, and I'm going to walk you through this three video discussion. Once you're done with this first one, I hope you watch the second two. So this first video is going to be an introduction, and it's going to introduce you to the underlying theory behind the demand for loanable funds. And so we know the market for loanable funds is in an introduction to macroeconomic course, but there's always a micro decision that's underlying macro models. And so the micro decision here is as a firm, do I take on this new project or not? So what we're looking at is we're seeing a firm that says, all right, I need to take out a loan to do a new project, and uh, I want to kind of weigh my costs and my benefits of it to see if I should do it or if I should not do it. And the cost is going to be the interest paid on the loan that they're going to need to take out in order to do this new project. We're going to denote that as I. And the benefit's going to be the amount of money they expect to make off of this project. So we're going to call that the expected return on investment, or the expected ROI. And so we're going to weigh these costs and benefits. So we have to look at the interest that they're going to pay on the loan, so that way they can do this new project, versus the expected return on investment. And so this trade-off is the foundation for the demand for loanable funds. So I want you to think of it as a scale. And on one side of the scale, we have that interest rate that they're paying for the loan. And on the other side of the scale, we have the expected return on investment. And so if they're equal, like in this visual, then the firm is going to be indifferent between investing in the project and not investing in the project. There's a possibility that the expected return on investment is higher than the interest rate they have to pay. And this is where the decision comes in that says, yes, the firm is going to invest in this project. There's also the case where the interest rate could be higher than the expected return on investment. And this is when the firm will not invest in the project because they're going to be losing money. And so this trade-off this uh, comparing the interest rate to the expected return on investment is a foundation for the demand of loanable funds. And we're going to use that to explore the demand curve for loanable funds and how it's shaped and also the shifts of the demand for loanable funds in the next two videos. I hope you watch them.